Hey, welcome back to another episode of Dare to Play. Today we'll be introducing Flux. The basic Flux card game consists of 100 cards which fall into one of seven categories. The basic rules, the new rules, actions, keepers, creepers, goals, and the meta rule. The basic rules to the game are printed on one of the two white backed cards in the box, and they are as the card says, basic. The rules at the start of the game are draw one and play one, meaning that during a player's turn, they draw a card and they play a card from their hand. New rule cards are what make this game really interesting. They have a yellow stripe down the left hand side of the card and the words new rule written across the top. They are used to modify the basic rules of the game. They allow players to draw more than one card each turn, play more than one card each turn, or give bonuses to players based on the cards they have on the table or in their hands. There are also cards that limit how many cards players can have in their hands at a time. New rules take effect immediately after being played, so if the rule at the beginning of the turn was to draw one and the player plays the draw five card, then the player must draw four cards. Actions are cards in the game that are played then immediately discarded. They're pretty similar in appearance to new rule cards, but have the word action written across the top and the name of the card in a blue stripe on the left side. They do everything from making players draw and discard cards to resetting the rules of the current game. Like new rules, the effects take place immediately before play can continue. Keepers are the cards that you need to win the game. They don't have much of an effect on gameplay, in the sense that they do not allow you to draw more cards or play more cards like new rules do. They are played and then placed on your side of the play area until they are discarded, moved, or until the end of the game. Keepers have a green stripe along the left side and contain a picture representing the name of the card in the lower half. Creepers are like keepers, but instead of helping you win the game, they can prevent you from winning. Unless a current new rule or goal allows you to do so, you cannot win the game if there are creepers in your play area. If a creeper is drawn, it must immediately be played, then a new card is drawn to replace it in a player's hand. Creepers are similar to keepers in appearance, except the stripe on the left is black, and most have a special effect. The final card necessary to win the game is the goal card. They have a pink stripe on the left side and are just what they say. They are what you are trying to reach in order to win the game. Each one contains a set of requirements that need to be met in order to win. Goals tend to change on a turn to turn basis, and as soon as a player meets the requirements to win, the game ends, no matter whose turn it is. The final card in the game is the meta rule card. It's an extra basic rule card that changes gameplay, but is not a new rule. It's placed next to the basic rules at the start of the game, and doesn't leave play until the game ends. A game of Flux starts with the player who calls first, first. Each player then draws three cards from the deck, and play proceeds clockwise. At the start of a player's turn, they draw the number of cards required by the current rules, then play the number of cards required, with each resolving before the next is played. The player then complies with current hand or keeper limits, if there are any, then passes their turn to the next player. Cards played can be new rules, keepers, actions, or goals. Creepers do not count as being played, and do not affect how many cards a player can play. As stated before, the player who meets the requirements for their current goal wins the game. So for instance, if the goal is squishy chocolate, and a player has the keepers chocolate and the sun on the field with no creepers, then they win. 